Dr. Daisy Mendes is no longer the CEO in the Ministry of Health and Wellness. That was confirmed by Prime Minister John Brissena this morning and continued to be the buzz of the day. Mendes is the second Chief Executive Officer of the Brissena administration to leave. Dr. Lesbia Guerra's one-year contract with the Ministry of Natural Resources came to an end earlier this month. But was the writing also on the wall for Mendes? The President of the Public Service Union has come out against you for purportedly um, limiting the CEO's abilities to spend monies above $3,500 without your express consent. Can you speak to that in light of what the Constitution says, that she is in fact the Chief Accounting Officer for the Ministry? Sure. This is not limiting. I don't have the authority to limit her. What, what is happening is, as you know, um, things are moving very quickly with COVID, and, and we felt that it was important for us to just step back a little bit and assess what's going on and to make sure that all of our resources are going in the right direction. That is all it was. I don't have any legal authority to limit her or to constrain her. But the PSU president claims otherwise, even going so far as to say that the minister has, quote, lost his way. Dean Flowers told News 5 that the CEO is the chief accounting officer for a ministry, as guided by the constitution, and should not be restricted in any way, not even by the minister. I am in receipt of instructions from the Minister of Health, and I quote to the CEO, dated November the 6th, in which he stated to the CEO, kindly note that as of today, 5th of November 2021, no purchase orders, no invoices, no contracts, no agreements, no payments in excess of $3,500 is to be made by you without my express prior consent. We have our minister who has lost his way and who is not familiar with how the public sector runs. And sadly, I would have expected that the CEO who would have responded to this and said, say to him, sir, the least you could do, man, that, that, that read, the, read the constitution, man, read, read the legislation, which makes me the accounting officer. And so with all due respect, you need to stick to what you do best, which is... While it is not known whether this is what triggered the CEO parting ways with the ministry, we are told that the relationship with the minister has been strained. The COVID-19 pandemic has placed the Ministry of Health and Wellness under the microscope, and that may have compounded the issue. Dwayne Moody for News 5.